This is the first story I ever learned, the first story I even remember. It was the time of the year when leaves tremble in the trees and start to fall to earth. Turtle was walking around that day when suddenly he noticed it was quiet. Too quiet. Too quiet. Why is it so quiet? There should be noise. There should be someone around. I don't like it when I'm alone. I'm alone and there's no one to talk to. Where is everybody? Where did they go? Where did they go and why didn't they take me? Suddenly he heard voices louder than his own and he started to follow those voices through the trees till he came to a place where the trees looked like springtime. So many birds of so many colored feathers sat on the branches. It was like the flowers of spring instead of the last leaves of fall. And the birds were excited. They were so busy talking to each other, they never saw that turtle walk up. So he was able to listen. And this is what he heard. Ready, 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 leaves fall. Leaves fall, soon it will be summer, soon it will be summer. And after summer, the cold comes, the cold, the cold that we do not like. There is no food for us. The snow will come and we will be hungry and cold. Time to go, time to go, time to go. Winter is near, I can feel it and the leaves are telling us. Turtle had heard enough. What's coming? What's coming? What do you know that I don't know? Where are you going? You're going someplace. You're leaving because of snow. You're leaving because of cold. You're not leaving me. I'm going with you. Wherever you're going, I'm going to. Take me with you. Take me with you. I want to go. I want to go. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. And the bird said, excuse us. But if you knew anything, you would know that when the cold comes, only birds go. We go south, south where it is summer all the year, south where there is food, it is warm, it is fun. We go and we go without you. That's not right. You don't leave me out. You certainly don't leave me out because I'm different. Oh, because I'm not a bird. I don't get to be warm. I don't get food. I don't get to have fun. Ha, that's not right. Take me with you. Take me with you. Take me with you or I'll tell your grandmas what you have done. Let them tell you stories so they teach you how to act right. It's our grandmothers who taught us our customs, said the birds. And when we go south, we fly. Oh. Fly, fly, fly. All right, well, 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 teach me to fly, teach me to fly. The birds couldn't help it. They began to laugh and Turtle said, laugh, laugh because you think I'm not as good as you? Laugh because you think I can't learn? Ha, I am a turtle and I can learn. It's easy to learn. You try, you try, you learn. I will try and try and I will fly. I will go with you, take me with you. You have to take me with you and the bird said, well, Turtle, we have a question, and the answer to this question will tell us if you can be taught anything. I am smart. Ask me the question. Do you ever shut your mouth? Yes. Yes, I do. I, I do when I feel like it. I do if I want to. I don't want to right now, or I'd show you. I can shut my mouth better than you. Nobody shuts their mouth as well as I shut my mouth when I decide to shut my mouth, but I haven't decided to shut my mouth. In fact, I don't feel like it at all. It's something to see when I shut my mouth. I shut my mouth and nobody can make me open my mouth. Nobody can make me do anything. I will shut my mouth. You will see, but not right now because I have to prepare. Preparation is very important, and I can't prepare right now because I don't want to. I don't want... Finally, he ran out of breath. And the bird said, excuse us, turtle, one more question. Can you shut your mouth around something? Can you shut your mouth around something and hold on so tightly, not even a sound will escape? Yes. Weren't you listening? These are powerful jaws, mighty jaws, much exercise, training and training, strength and greater strength. I can shut my mouth around something and all of you, not even all of you would be able to take it out of my mouth. While Turtle was talking, two birds flew in with a stick. They put it on the ground in front of Turtle and said, 
Shut your mouth around the stick. Shut your mouth around the stick and hold on so tightly, not even a sound will escape. Easy, said Turtle. <clears throat> and he opened his mouth and he clamped it shut around the stick and it got quiet. Before he could open his mouth, the birds grabbed that stick in their feet and they started to flap their wings, lifting that stick slowly up off the earth. Turtle held on. He held on so tightly, he felt his neck stretch and stretch and stretch until finally his feet left the ground. He looked down. <clears throat> I'm flying. Look at that, I'm flying. I'm very high up. I am not on the ground. I'm way up there. I fly really good. Wonder how far we're gonna fly. I wonder where south is. Guess that's where Summer lives? Summer has a house there. I wonder if Summer has food at that house. I wonder if we're gonna stop for lunch. Suddenly Turtle's mind was full of many questions. Questions he probably should have asked before he ever left the ground. But do you think he could ask his questions now? No, but he could point. He pointed up, he pointed down, he pointed all around, and the birds could see he was trying to tell them something, but honestly, they were so glad they didn't have to listen to him talk and talk and talk. They just ignored him and kept flying, staring straight ahead. Ignoring me? Ignoring me, that's rude, disrespectful, inconsiderate, and unkind. What if I had a problem? Oh, dear. I have a problem. What if there's no food for turtles at this place? What if I fly all the way south and there's only bird seed? Oh, I have to find out about the food, but he still could not talk. So he used sign language. He made the sign for food, food, food. And then he made the sign for hunger, bad hunger like you've been cut in half and your stomach is one place and your mouth is another place entirely. Now the birds knew those signs. They were there so people with different languages could speak to each other. They knew what Turtle was trying to say, but honestly, they were so glad they didn't have to listen to that turtle talk and talk and talk. They just ignored him and kept flying, but now they started to laugh. Laughing, laughing at starvation, laughing at someone else's problems. Oh, that is cruel, disrespectful, inconsiderate, unkind. And when I get back, I'm going to tell their grandmas. I'm going to tell their grandmas. And I'm going to tell their grandmas that you did not tell them the stories they need to learn how to act right. That's what I'm going to do. No, it isn't. Why won't you listen? As soon as he opened his mouth to talk, Turtle started to fall. He flipped over and over. He saw the earth rising up, racing toward him. He knew that he could get hurt, maybe even killed. So he flipped in the air so he'd land on his hard, smooth shell and have some protection. When he hit the earth, he hit so hard, he couldn't even breathe. And for a long while, he couldn't move at all. But when he moved, something was wrong. Something was wrong with his back. He tried to rock. Something was very wrong with his back. He tried to roll over. It took a long time. And when he did, he knew something was very wrong. He tried to look. He found his neck had stretched so long he could see his own back and what he saw. My beautiful shell is ruined, broken into pieces. This is a terrible thing, terrible, terrible. I did not know you could not trust the sky. The sky dropped me and now 
Oh, I will never fly again. Just then, he smelled mud. Mud. Oh, mud. He started to dig in the mud and throw it on his back. Each paw full of mud he hoped would patch his shell together until it could heal. Each paw full of mud he knew was digging him deeper and deeper into the warmth and safety of our mother, this sweet earth, and far away from the sky that now scared him. Soon he was buried so deeply in the mud, and it felt so cool and good, he fell asleep. And so now, when leaves tremble in the trees and start to fall to earth, Turtle doesn't dream of flying. On that day, so long ago, Turtle learned it's true, we each have a gift, but our gifts are different one from the next. And Turtle, well, he does not have the gift of flying. But then birds can't spend the winter buried in the mud. Now, if you don't believe this story is true, ask yourself, as my grandmother taught me, next time you see a turtle, look at them. Is their shell smooth or do you see lines like cracks healed long ago from when a turtle fell from the sky and learned an important lesson? And if you haven't learned at least one lesson from this story, and it's full of so many, I learned new things about it these many years since I was that little girl who's now my own grandma's age. Grandma said, you'll see Turtle learned a lesson. Because no matter how long you talk, no matter what you have to say, Turtle will never interrupt you. Grandma said, Turtle learned, sometimes if you really want to learn something, you have to close your mouth and listen. <laughs>